continuing our conversation on how entrepreneurs can legally, ethically, and creatively be using AI inside of their business to save time, effort, and stress, and make sure that you are making this a more profitable year for you, let's talk about how you can be using AI to critically critique your biography to make it stronger so that your viewers, the people who are seeing this on your website, on social media, etc., are actually getting the correct information from your biography. Now with all AI, it learns from what you've done in the past. Anything that it spits back out to you is not copyright protected. You have to entirely write it your own. Tweaking does not count. But when we're asking it to critically evaluate what we've already done, this is going to highlight some good things and give you some ideas on things you can tweak to make it stronger so that it communicates more effectively to your viewers to actually get the job done. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. Now, remember, you want to set up the framework or the lens you want this to view it from. Usually we give it a bit of an introduction so that it knows what we're looking at. With this one, I'm just giving it straight direction, a framework to operate under. So I am going to put in a prompt that says, act like a biography coach and critically evaluate my biography to tell me what you learned from my bio as a viewer of it. Here's my bio. So inside of my bio, I have information about what I've done. I said, Cam Robinson is a social media educator and speaker who helps entrepreneurs build profitable businesses through smart social media marketing with easy content creation. She's been spotlighted by Facebook for her innovative work in the field, has appeared on CBS News Nationally, NBC News Nationally, Newsweek, Business News Daily, Writers Weekly, Authority Magazine, EV Magazine, Thrive Global, Newsweek, New York uh, Comic Con, Penn Con, Charleston, PenCon St. Louis, MarmagicCon, LiveCon, and has partnered with companies like TikTok, Zen, BeLive, Restream, Logitech, and Lifetime. She specializes in live streaming, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok growth. She's the founder of Livestream Action Plan, Social Time Saver, IG Reels for Business. She's also a best-selling fiction author. So I gave my blurb as it is right now. We're going to take a look at it to see what I can be tweaking, what I need to update for this. And this is going to give me a good critical look at what other people understand when I am giving this information. As a viewer of my bio, tell me what you can learn about me and my businesses, what stands out to you, etc. Now, the more information you give it, the better information is going to feed back. I would recommend if you're looking for specific things to see if it's communicating these points or not, give it a bullet point list of what you want to know. I just said, tell me what you can learn about me and my business and what stands out to you. This is going to give me basic information. So you can either give it a bullet point list of does it hit these points? Does it communicate these things to you? Or you can go general and then spell asking the follow up questions, those bullet point things. So here we go. We're going to let it think for a minute. It is going to read over it. And it is going to start telling me what I have put inside of my blurb. So it tells me or it says, as a viewer of your bio, I can gather the following insights about you and your businesses. One, expertise. You are a social media educator and speaker with a focus on helping entrepreneurs to build profitable businesses through the smart social media marketing and easy content creation. Your bio suggests that you possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field, which gives you credibility as a social media expert. Number two, recognitions. Your work has been recognized by reputable platforms such as Facebook, which indicates you may have significant contributions and achieve noteworthy results in social media marketing domain. Being spotlighted by prominent news outlets like CBS and NBC further boost your credibility. Okay, it is giving me good things back. Let's see what else it's going to say. I'm hoping that it gives me some ideas for tweaking a little bit, but let's see. It uh, Number three, diverse media presence. Your extensive media presence in various publications, such as all of those places, um, showcases that your expertise has been sought after and appreciated by a wide range of media outlets. This implies that you have established yourself as a recognized authority in your field. Good. It is giving me good things right now. I'm happy with what we're doing. Event appearances and partnerships. You've participated in a lot of different events and it suggests that you're actively engaging with the industry and have built valuable connections and collaborations. These are good things so far. So good which is great because I teach you guys how to write your bio very easily and very concisely so that it actually gets you more jobs and makes you more money. We want to be very careful with our bios. There's lots of ways that you can be writing these. And we've got lots of videos here on the channel for you in relation to that. You should definitely be watching that if you're trying to make a bio that works for you instead of against you. Number five. Social media specialization. Your expertise spans across different social platforms with a particular focus on live streaming, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok growth. This highlights your versatility as a social media educator and indicates that you can cater to a broader audience with diverse social media marketing needs. Okay, here's the thing. We focused right now on where I have focused. It says that I have a um, 
a versatile understanding of these things and that I can cater to people with a broader audience with diverse social media marketing needs. But let's be little devil's advocate when it comes to this. Sometimes you have to do some of the work on this, but it's going to give you a good framework to work with. So with this one, I might look at that and see it as a good thing. I am versatile. I have a wide range of knowledge. I can help people who are looking for a lot of different things because I'm an expert in these different areas. But that could also imply what? that I am a little bit more broad in what I am doing. I am not necessarily the go-to person for one of those. I am the go-to person for all of those. And for some people who are looking for help with all of those, that's gonna speak strongly to them. My variety, my wide range of things is going to work to my benefit in that sector. However, if somebody is looking just for help in one area or they know that they want the top of the top of the top for that one area, if I'm doing multiple things, if I have those couple of different things that I'm doing, it could make them a little resistant to working with me if they just want to learn about TikTok. If they just want me to help them build their YouTube channel. If they're looking for the person who just focuses no other place other than YouTube. That could warn them off a little bit. Even though I'm an expert in YouTube, even when I'm even though I'm one of the leading experts in YouTube, maybe if they're seeing all these things, they're going to say, "Okay, she does a lot." Maybe she's not the person for us. So I can then decide how I want to frame this. The, the All of these things can be looked at in good and bad ways. I've been talking about how I like what it's feeding me. It's stroking my ego and it's making me feel good because I did what I set out to do. But if you play devil, devil's advocate with this, you can also make it stronger if that's what you want to do. Maybe I want to be the girl who is here to come in to companies, to brands, to businesses, to look at their socials and to give them a very clear strategy and plan on what to do for all of the things so that they can do all of it, but way easier. That is in fact what I want to do. But I also am an expert in these areas. I can come into a company and a business and say, all right, let's focus on your YouTube channel. Let's do all of these things. And maybe that's not translated with this particular biography. Maybe I need another biography that focuses heavily on my work with YouTube. And in fact, I have those, I can do those. That's very easy for me to do. But that can tell me this biography is good for this area. If I am speaking on a specific topic, like I'm talking to a, a magazine or to a news network about YouTube, maybe I would have a YouTube specific educator bio that I would give them rather than this. So this helps me to make my decisions and know where I'm lacking, where I am thriving, and if I need to be doing variations of my bios for different purposes. It goes on to say entrepreneurial ventures. Your role as the founder of your companies showcases your entrepreneurial spirit and your ability to create products or services to address specific challenges faced by entrepreneurs in the social media landscape. Number seven, additional achievements. Apart from your social media ventures, you're also a recognized best-selling fiction author. This adds an extra layer to your profile, demonstrating your ability to excel in multiple creative pursuits. Okay, so then we go on to what stands out. Let's take a look at this. Your extensive media presence and recognition by prominent platforms and news outlets highlights your authority and expertise in the social media marketing field. And that's exactly what I want. I want to be seen as an authority and as an expert in my field. Because I've communicated that properly, you can see again and again and again as it's giving me information, it keeps using those words. It keeps using that authority. It keeps using the expertise word. And that's exactly what I wanted to communicate. So I've done well with this. Then it goes on to say your ability to establish partnerships with well-known companies and participate in major events showcasing your industry connections and active involvement in the social media space. They can see I'm really good at partnering with different companies, at representing different companies, at working with those on a high scale level with a well-known established company or entity. I'm good at that and it comes across in my bio. These are things that I want to have happen. This is good. The combination of your social media educator and speaker roles with being a best selling fiction author adds a unique and interesting aspect to your bio, making you stand out as a multifaceted individual. So this says you've excelled in multiple areas. You're not just doing it in one space. That can really work to my benefit. But devil's advocate, that could also say by saying multifaceted, that has such great potential and such great downfall because people say, oh, she's multifaceted. She can do everything. She's really good at all these things. We love her because she's excelled in multiple areas. That shows that she is a cut above the rest. Somebody else could look at it and say, she's multifaceted. She's over here and she's over here and she's doing all these things and her time is split between these things. And maybe she's not the best for this because she is doing all of these things. And we want somebody just focused on one very specific thing. Works for me, 
works against me, but we talk about it, especially with our business, especially with our biographies. We want to attract the right people and repel the rest of the people. So somebody's looking at me and saying, oh, she's multifaceted. That's not for me. That's not somebody I want to work with anyway. And if somebody looks at me and says, oh, girl's got it in all the areas. We want her. That's a person for me. So we want to attract and repel with this. And that's exactly what we're doing here. And it says overall, your bio presents you are, are you as a successful and accomplished social media expert, entrepreneur and author with a wealth of experiences and achievements in the digital marketing and creative fields. Does it accomplish what I wanted to accomplish? Does it make me feel good? Yes. But does it accomplish what I wanted to accomplish? Yes. I want to communicate that I am an authority. Other people are trusting me. I've done a ton of stuff and I can help people because of my expertise and because of my experience in these fields. This is what I then have the ability to offer. Here's what I've done. Here's my reliability. You can see through the companies that I've created and all the people who have trusted to work with me. All of those things lead to what I want inside of my bio. I feel like this is telling me I've done a good job with my biography. It, if I then wanted to frame things differently, I could either tweak my biography or I could create spin-off biographies, different versions I'm going to give to different companies or in different purposes or in different places on my website and social media. This gives me the opportunity to build out from here. So when I need to qualify something a little bit more, like I'm focusing on that YouTube expertise, now I might not be talking about some of the other things inside of what I do in my business. I can very strongly focus in one area to be able to give something that's going to present me in a way that will make people want to work with me because they see the expertise there. It is going to be a very good opportunity for me to then build up those biographies. And by the way, I have multiple biographies. I have a note on my phone that is also on my computer that I can pull up anytime. It's titled bios. And I have one for my forward facing social media educator, which is what you just saw life. But I also have a version that is more forward facing for my author life that I have the little footnote of She's also a social media marketing expert and speaker at the end, but I focus more heavily on my author work. I've got versions where I am focused on YouTube or versions where I'm focused on the TikTok expertise or where I'm focused on working with companies over solopreneurs or working with solopreneurs over companies. I've got versions depending on what I'm doing. If I want to talk about my coaching life or my mentor life, if I want to talk about the courses, I can focus more heavily on those. If I want to talk about the, my work here on YouTube, I can focus more heavily on how I'm doing free education for people. Versions of my biographies lend itself to different things and I can use them for different purposes. But going in and using AI to critically critique and evaluate what you've already done is going to be incredibly helpful to know if you hit the mark or if you missed it and tweak from there and create your spinoffs. Follow along for more legal, ethical, and creative ways you can be using AI inside of your business to save you time, effort, and stress and make sure you hit the marks that you want to hit to communicate properly to your audience. Every single day, we're dropping brand new videos to help you navigate the world of social media marketing, content creation, saving time, effort, and stress creating your content and making sure that this is your most profitable year ever. We'll see in the upcoming episodes.